All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Everybody say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo, and let's get started with today's video. So, we have an unboxing of a knife that is already on pre-order. Have you guys heard of New Breed EDC? So, this is a new company, first knife, by Mark over at Loot 10 Techs. Uh, Mark's a cool dude. He asked if I would check this out. I feel pretty honored because uh, it looks like he's got two of these. Uh, I don't need to cut this open, apparently. Um, one of them went to Lefty EDC, and one of them went uh, to me. So pretty honored uh, to check that out. Of course, Kevin got his first, because that's just the way it always works out. And I got... Whoa, I'm dropping stuff. Uh, I got mine second. Um, and you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Kevin needs the attention. I don't. No, I'm Wait, did I say that? Uh, so this is the Clydesdale, guys. And these are on pre-order as we speak um these are made by kubi for mark for new breed edc and we got a note in here that tells us about the knife and they are 115 dollars in 14 c 28 and and uh stone washed titanium on the handle and let's see what we've got here i'm pretty excited to check it out i've got lots of peanuts uh so all right let's see there we go. He uh, had it open, but closed it back up. Uh, really nice box there from Kubi. All right. Let us see what we have here. I'm already holding it. It already feels good in the hand. So you have a really nice, and he says stonewash, but it almost looks bead blasted. But it is, I think it's stonewash. Uh, scale here with contouring, uh, slight contouring, and then you've got black hardware. Uh, you've got a black uh, milled pocket clip here uh, with two screws, and you have a spot to flip it, but no uh, filler tab, which is all right. You have a front flipper and a hole and a uh, like crazy-looking poon out here. Uh, I'm excited to flick this thing. So you guys ready? I am ready. Here we go. Bam. All right. Very, very nice. It is an inset liner lock. Uh, there is milling on the opposite side. Feels pretty good. Kind of a slender, small handle. You can see it is four fingers. Nowhere real. Well, you can kind of choke up on the flat here, but be careful. And then look at that ridiculous blade. Uh, this is... Guys, is this a flat or a hollow? Hold on. Does he say here? Let's see. Oh, did you see that? Holy cow, the guy that cannot front flip can front flip this like nobody's business. Mark, you killed it, man. That is great. Now, you guys notice I am being careful and closing it myself because I saw him and Kevin drop this thing, and I like my fingers a lot. Um, let me move my light a little bit here so you guys can see this better. There we go. Um, but, yeah, I mean... Just going to be, what the heck? All right, very nice. Let's see, what's the detent feel like? Nice feeling detent. You can come out here and flick it. Let's see, you can go back here and flick it. Can you thumb open it? Absolutely. Uh, wow. Dead centered. The backspacer doesn't wrap around, but it looks fine. I mean, you've got plenty of clearance there. You're not going to kind of get cut there. Yeah, you got plenty of clearance. You do have your backspacer coming about halfway back here. Very, this is epic. Um, let's see. So let's see what he says here. Let's lay this out. And again, what you guys need to do is you're going to need to go to www.newbreededc.com. And I will, uh, I will definitely link that down below. And I am not sure. Let me see. Does he have different versions or is it just this one? Let's see. Da, da, da. It looks like he's sticking with one variation on this one, which is which is a great idea. Um, and again, it's a prototype, uh, so some of this is going to change. It is 4.7 ounces, 4.3 inch handle length, 3.3 uh, inch blade, 7.265 inches overall. And... Um, once the pre-order is closed, production will begin. The production process should take about four to five months. 
Um, he added some extra time to the manufacturer's quote time to compensate for any hiccups. Very good, Mark. Smart, smart move because I said two months and then we had those hiccups and it ended up almost three and a half, almost four. Uh, so very smart. Um, quality control check and then said to him. Very cool. Now, uh, he's got some changes here, but I'm going to save these, I think, for the actual review. But let me see. Um... Let's see, he's saying he might add some jimping right here at the choke-up point. Jimping will wrap over the top for the front flipper. Yeah, that's smart. Uh, plunge grind increases increase the size of the sharpening choy, which is the same thing I'm doing on the, on the um, whatever you call it, KC, jet, jet stream. Chain for the lock bar. Okay. Yeah, but the lock bar access is not bad, man. I mean, it's pretty good. And again, if you're not... Because this is a chunky beast of a blade. Does he have... Wait for me. Blade material 14C. He doesn't tell me what the stock is. But I'm going to say it's like 3.2 millimeters. I love the look of the satin here and the satin here going the two different directions. Uh, I think it's a flat grind. Let me look at it one more time. No, you know what? I think... Let's see. It may be a shallow hollow, guys. I am not sure, but I will find that out before I reveal it. Before I review it. Uh, I'm going to try to move this along pretty quickly. Uh, you're going to see this unboxing. And, that man, I cannot stop front flipping this. Mark, this is the best front flipper I have enjoyed. Now, here's the thing, guys. It has a tab, but it's not coming way back here and kicking me in the butt uh, or ripping my hand off. Very nice. This might be the, this is the best front flipper I've seen. Um, and, and, you know, it's no stat. The detent is tuned very well for both methods. The jipping is good. I don't, you know, that's fine to take it around the corner there, but for me, it doesn't need it. Ask for hollow grind, so I'm going to ask if that can be done. Okay, so this is flat. Like I said, now I do like the shape of his handle kind of decreasing towards the back, uh, but then flaring out to provide kind of a lock-in moment there. Very nice. Um, but yeah, he's got a few changes, but we'll save those for the, for the actual review. But guys, these are available for pre-order as we speak very stinking cool $115 is his pre-order price probably go up for the production models when he sells that but it's really cool that he's doing that um 14c uh stonewash titanium very cool kubi is the oem uh and you have this great tip now i didn't talk about look at that look at that uh so you got this poon right here for doing this kind of cut can't get my yeah you can kind of get your thumb out there but it's not comfortable this is where your thumb belongs that's where you that's cool uh so i was talking to our buddy uh shoot um why am i um knife nerdery kevin at uh, blade show and he loves this kind of grip like this so yeah kevin's gonna dig this guy this is for those of you that just really love that grip we'll do some cutting in the review we'll do our comparisons in the review and, uh, yeah, very, very excited. Mark, you are the man. And, again, I'm going to get this done as quick as I can. It goes to Bees Blades next. And, uh, you know, he's got two prototypes. So we want to be real courteous of his time and get these back out to the next reviewer as quickly as we can. Uh, but, yeah, Mark, uh, the, you made me a front flipper guy for the first time. So congratulations. New Breed EDC, I will leave the link uh, to the pre-order down below full review coming I'll probably push that one you know you'll see it in a couple weeks or whatever but I wanted to get this right out as quickly as I could just so you guys could see uh, this beauty uh, really really nice now some of you are saying now it's kind of a worn cliffy thing going on here some of you are saying that's not your favorite shape uh, I saw Mark doing a live stream and he's got all kinds of different shapes coming out so if this one doesn't speak to you he's gonna have uh, more for sure so really really cool there you go uh, new breed EDC loot 10 tax give me a thumbs up and a comment let me know what you think all the things guys like comment subscribe notification bell and thank you so much for watching the knives fast channel